Jamaica has officially approved Starlink to work in their um, jurisdiction or their country. But I don't know if the I don't know what the approval means if Starlink is available there now. But here's the article, right? Starlink, which is owned by Elon Musk, is um has been given a green light to operate in Jamaica. And that means that I guess it's going to work. So the according to what's the name? Daryl so, Daryl Vaz. Yeah. Daryl Vaz. He's in Minnesota so Science for, Energy. For people who probably don't know the follow Starlink or Elon Musk. What is Starlink? Right, right, right. Yeah, thanks for reminding me because not only techie people will be paying attention to this. Starlink is a, a constellation, a, a bunch of satellites basically <laughs> roaming the Earth, going around the Earth at very, very low orbits and providing low latency internet for anywhere in the world. So you don't have to have a physical cable coming to your house. You just have to put a satellite on your roof and it will pick the closest satellite and you will get internet at the lowest latency possible. It yeah, used to be so a problem to use satellite internet because the satellites used to have to fly too high. But now Elon Musk and Starlink, they figured out how to let the satellites fly low. And they've been, they've been giving it to most of the other countries for the past year or two. And now it seems like the Caribbean is targeted. Yeah. So this, this is kind of like a potential mm-hmm. solution to people in areas that are probably not, not covered by, tra- by the traditional internet providers. Yeah, so or, they, or they have poor coverage. So like, rural say, areas, yeah. Yeah, rural areas. Say if you're in the, uh, probably not any forest, but areas are probably, <laughs> <laughs> you know, areas are probably underserved in terms yeah. of that, you know. Well, that's exactly what you said. Look what you said here. Consumers will now have more options in choosing service providers. I remain committed to ensuring we continue to advance technologically, and this will bolster advancement in education, the medical field, and economic growth. Okay, okay. So, Elon yeah, Musk. Yeah, nice so, and, and this is this is our project, uh, Elon Musk. This is one of his... Yeah, along with the robots, along with the Neuralink, along with Tesla. Yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely... It's yeah. definitely Elon so, Musk fingerprints so all over why, it. So why Jamaica and not Trinidad? <laughs> well, I have some I have some views that I yeah. think may um may be like controversial, but uh, it won't get in, once it get in trouble. <laughs> no, I ain't going to get in trouble. Jamaica yeah. two million people, two 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 point something million people in it, right? Yeah. Trinidad are one point six or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the the amount of people in Jamaica, they they have a a bigger market. Yeah. And Jamaica is known for having a lot of um rural internet issues, right? For the people I know in Jamaica, they tend to they tend to have hmm what should I what should I say? Connectivity for certain parts of Jamaica, you had to go through real hills and trees and mm. things to, to run poles and all that stuff. And a lot of the time, Flow and Digicel, they not um they don't they don't they don't bother me. They but making I mean, yeah, they making that kind some of some people run. here probably argue that even though we are places that are connected, some some of these services not reliable. Yeah, well, cause genuinely it will be hard to run a cable that long through all our forests and wherever it is and make sure it's reliable because you had to run fiber. But usually one of the biggest issues with the companies in Trinidad is that they would say it's not economically viable or business-wise for us to run it to this place because it only had 25 people living in the housing development. We will never make back the 200000 that we have to pay to get the, to get the fiber inside by earlier. It, it could take yeah. us 20 years and they will say, well, yeah, we ain't gonna run the cable. Yeah, I laugh in here now because somebody say the green network is licks. Uh, <laughs> I, I know I'm full of comment. I, that, yeah. that could be a good thing or a bad thing, you know, but I ain't, I ain't say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, generally speaking, some of the service providers here in Trinidad could, you know, in terms of reliability, they could do a little better. You know, generally speaking, not, not singling out any, you know. Yeah, I find, I mean, well, yeah, Jamaica would definitely, if I were, like, you know, trying to pick a Caribbean country to start with, I would start with Jamaica. For yeah. two reasons. Because Jamaica closer to the U.S. in terms of, let me say, you have to do business or something. So, to fly from yeah. Florida to Jamaica, it's real quick, and you can get your stuff done quickly, and 
it easier to do and you know yeah. Jamaica have a little more clout in the Caribbean than everybody else. Yeah, I mean, you know, ja- you know, they say Jamaica is the, the capital of the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you know, they go away, somebody asks hey, Do you know about Mali? <laughs> no, that's how you talk to, that's how Caribbean accent and there's one time they think you're from Jamaica. Yeah, but. they think you're from Jamaica, yeah. So yeah. this is Starlink map here, right? Um, On their website. So I'll zoom out and you'll see a whole map of the world. Of course, mm. the brightly lit places are the places that have Starlink already. The not okay, so okay. brightly lit means it's expanding. So and in the Caribbean, then, they have the Dominican Republic, Puerto yeah. Rico, um, Guadeloupe. Use Virgin Islands, Guadeloupe, Martinique. Okay, okay. And, but Martinique and Guadeloupe, they are French um, yeah, yeah. colonies, so basically. Next in the English, well... Jamaica will be the first English speaking island. Yeah, because according to the map, it has, um, if I zoom in, properly, you'll see starting in quarter four, 2022. Every time I hover okay, over okay. it, they have these little hexagons now, because obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. the satellites could only cover a hexagon because of the maths and whatever they had to do to, to get the, 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 the Wi Fi, not Wi Fi, the, the internet beam down. So yeah, starting yeah. in quarter 2020, um, fourth quarter 2022. We are in the fourth quarter of 2022. So that means the article does line up that if they did the approval, in end of September, early October, that means probably by the end of the year, yeah, yeah. you could buy a Starlink. Now, let's take a little scroll down, down the islands now, huh? and let's see what's going on over Port of Spain. Oh, starting quarter for 2022. Very interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Because... I feel la- la- uh, <laughs> no, but but the porter, um, the porter thing in the, a press thing in the papers, um, asking for people to give um, uh, their input on if they think Starlink should in, in Trinidad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The porter press release at time why. Okay, Hold but that's up, just that's just gathering interest. But to actually be here in Trinidad, I think you'd have probably hear about it, you know. But I wonder if. I mean, for something like this, Tat will have to get involved to approve it. Yes, it's Tat Pody, um, Pody the article. Just... Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. What... I, I couldn't get fair. And I know sometimes in Trinidad, competition don't really be, is not really seen as a good thing. So you wonder if something like that might, you know, the powers might be, would be accepted no, to, to I, our next, you know? I remember doing a video on it and, um, People was like, it's real expensive. Starlink? Yeah. Compared to our um, local packages? Yeah, because I think the price it is... Um, it's 150 Okay, okay. 150 US? I can't remember where. Yeah. Where do you... But now, but, I mean, it'll be interesting to see, see it launch in Jamaica, see... You know, see the price and come. I mean, you could just convert and you know, see the rates, see yeah. the speeds. So let me check right? the let me check the address. I'm seeing um, Port of Spain. Yeah, Port I of mean, Spain see... General Hospital, right? Port of Spain General Hospital. It's on the wait list. If you click order now, what will it? What will they say? It's it's loading. <laughs> yeah. Um. To order now, reserve your Starlink. Starlink is targeting service in your area starting quarter four, 2022. Availability is subject to regulatory approval, right? And um, deposit due will be 99 US. I, okay. I think the, the total cost is 500 US to get the actual hardware, I believe. And then after that, I think it's a 150 or a nah, uh, that, one something. That song and real steep, boy. It, <laughs> it's steep, but if you're living in, in Guaya Guayari, I yeah, <laughs> but let's like say, let's like say, if, if this service was really to, to target a um, like a population that not really you know well off or a rural area, you know, mm-hmm. gonna, you you're gonna spend five hundred US on that and then commit a hundred dollars every month for internet. All right, you know, I think it might have other things. <laughs> there were, other things right. that take priority than paying out this amount of money. One hundred and ten dollars per month, and the one-time hardware cost is six six hundred. Yeah, that's steep. I mean, the cheapest package right now is about two hundred, three hundred. Half of this. Um, the cheapest two hundred, two hundred, two hundred yeah. cheapest package on um on any one of the networks. But um, but if you have zero internet, like if you, mm. it has some people paying for um, it has some people paying for, for um a, a MiFi. 
yeah. basically, which is a, a SIM card and yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's in a it's in a little case. And yeah, now my fine yeah. now my fine internet is one megabit max on a good day. And well, you pay in yeah, you pay three hundred dollars for a SIM card because like basically you're paying for a post feed SIM. Yeah, but this is double the price. 110 US. And you're getting a you're and, getting a, um, and and yeah, they pay five hundred up front. Like three thousand something. It's That's a, steep. You if, might think okay, but that people tell but if I have no 3, access to the if I had no access nah, to the I feel I still feel that people the final way, man. I think if if I had to choose Spain now I'm on the internet. And I mean, but uh, I beg in, a, a, a big flow, a big um, um player, a big digital. I say, oh, they come down by me now, come down. They say, nah, boy, it, it, it will cost too much money to run the wire day, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. That yeah. you don't think that this is a like you gotta buy the bullet. Because I know, I know there are people who um who take green dot because yeah. they can't yeah, get Yeah, but how well, much the pain? Well, the, the fact that they were willing to pay for the satellite, they were, they were willing to pay a monthly amount. I, you could just pay for the pay for a more expensive one and, and get it to work. Like Think about little Johnny who need to do work, you know, for university. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, for the people that could afford it, yeah. But if things are already hard with somebody, I feel paying out this amount, I don't think it will be a priority for them. 